Well, hello, 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 and welcome. It's me. Guess who? It's me. And me, I hope you know by now, it's Joy. Joy Ruffin coming to you from the Sunshine State. So now am I saying to you good morning, good afternoon, good evening, my favorite, good day, or maybe to a few of you, I hope a few of you, good night. But wherever you are, you know by now, always coming your way, the very, very best. This week, our keyword and our food for thought is all about relationships. Relationships. So the question to you is, what makes long-lasting, loving relationships? And this applies to personal, family, friends, and all of that, and business. What makes a long-lasting and loving and a good relationship? You can take loving out and just say good, healthy relationship. There are many, 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 many theories, many schools of thought, and so on it goes. But let me say this to you. You already know that the best relationships are the relationships that are built on trust, that are built around a respect, regard, and high appreciation, all one and the same, for each other. A one that allows each individual to speak their mind, to have their sense of individuality and personality, not to be about changing them, but to be, but to allow them to express themselves and for you to listen when they are doing the same. And then to voice your opinions and your thoughts without treading on what's their principle, ethic, and morality, and yet remaining good friends in a healthy relationship because of the respect and the regard for each other. No one is saying that all relationships are easy. Most relationships today, and especially marriages, let's talk about marriages, are falling apart like one, two, three, before the honeymoon is even over. Why? Many schools have thought about that, but mainly because people do not want to put in the work. And no matter how much love is involved and how much you care, relationships take work. And I might be shot in the foot for this, and maybe the head, but women predominantly do the work. That's not to say that the men aren't involved and they don't love as much or more, but the gist and the, 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 the heavy core of all of the work involved in maintaining and keeping a relationship business or personal is more or less with women. Now, I'd like to hear your food for thought about this. I'd like your comments and hear what you have to say. You might feel that this is not so, and that's all well and good, but I'd like to hear you speak to it a wee bit. So do read the blog today, share it, engage with others about the topic, good, healthy, long-lasting relationships, and then leave me your comments and get back to me. You know by now that I always look forward to them and can't wait to read and see what your opinions are in regards to our theme and our food for thought for the week. This week, it's all about relationships. So my friends, wherever you are, be and stay well. Look after you first, because when you do, you're able to look after many, many others. And you can count and be assured that I will be back with you again and soon. Until that time, be well and take care. Bye-bye for now. Cheers.